What kind of options are there for media consumption on the Quest? And does it make sense to watch video content in VR? That's what we're talking about today on BMF. Hey Questers, and welcome to another episode of BMF, the unofficial home for all things Oculus Quest. Keep up to date on Quest news, game reviews, and the latest developments by subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. A lot of the time, the Quest gets talked about because of its gaming and VR experience content. But what about media? Is the Quest a viable media consumption solution? Today I'm going to do a quick overview of the apps you can use to watch movies and TV shows on the Quest, as well as give you my quick thoughts on how they function. Before we get started, there are a few different options when it comes to watching videos on the Quest. Three, actually. The first is to load videos directly onto your headset by connecting the Quest to your PC and dragging and dropping the video files into the Movies folder. Second, you can stream video content from various streaming services like YouTube, Pluto, Sling, Netflix, Prime Video. Lastly, you can stream video content from your PC over Wi-Fi to your Quest as well so you don't have to take up space on your Quest. We'll look at all these options, but first, let's talk about the native Oculus apps. First of all, you can actually watch videos right from your home hub if you have them loaded onto your Quest by going to the Oculus Gallery. It's not the best quality or most immersive, but it's adequate. Next, for 3D videos, you can check out the Oculus Video app. The Go version of this app seems to offer a lot more in the way of content right now, because on the Quest, the only thing I can see to do is actually watch a small curation of 3D videos. Next up, you have the Oculus TV app, which allows you to watch content from quite a few streaming services right in the same place. You can watch Sling, Hulu, Showtime, Play-Doh, and other various streaming networks on a 180-inch screen. It works well and offers a fair amount of options for streaming. Now moving away from the Oculus apps, let's talk about other streaming platforms. Netflix has its own app for streaming. Unfortunately, they disable screen recording in the app, but here is a picture of what it looks like. It's a cozy room in the mountains, and it's a fun place to watch content from Netflix. For whatever reason, though, the video quality is just okay in the Netflix app. It's nothing to write home about. Amazon Prime Video VR, on the other hand, is spectacular. I even love the menu area that is outside of the theater. You can pick whatever you want to watch, and then it moves you inside of the theater to watch it. You can change some of the settings from how large the screen is, but overall this is one of my favorite places to watch video content because the video itself looks crisp and pops way more than most of the other players. YouTube also has its own app so you can watch BMF right from inside your headset. It supports both 2D videos on a huge screen as well as 3D videos on YouTube. It works well and I really like the option to curve the screen. The last app I'll mention before moving on to my favorite is Big Screen. Now Big Screen is really more of a social app, but you can watch movies and TV there. Either you need to find a public room where people are playing a film you want to see, or you can jump into one of the new rooms since the recent update. Even though I enjoy big screen, it's not the ideal place to watch a movie as the quality is not stellar, and you never really know who's going to start yelling and making a scene in the room. Last, but by far my favorite for watching my own media is Skybox VR. Skybox allows you to either play local video files that are loaded onto your headset, or you can download the Skybox VR player to your PC and stream videos from your PC to your Quest, and it works wonderfully. I love the fact that you can change locations, plus there are a ton of settings you can change from screen size, room brightness, curve, it's crazy how many settings you can change. It fully supports 3D movies as well, which is awesome. Although I should mention that both Big Screen and the Oculus Gallery both will play 3D movies as well. Out of all the ways to stream content, my two favorites are Prime Video VR and Skybox. Between the two, I can watch all of my digital library on Amazon, plus their Prime content, and with Skybox, I can watch local content with ease. Some people argue, what is the point of watching video content on the Quest with such a low graphical quality? Why not watch it on a 4K TV? My answer to that has nothing to do with technology and everything to do with experience. Watching movies in a movie theater with a giant screen in front of me is my favorite way to watch a movie, and now with the Quest, I can do that in the comfort of my own home. The only thing I do wish is that both of my favorite apps would add the ability to invite friends so my wife and I can both watch them together. What are your favorite media apps? Do you find yourself watching video in VR or is it a waste of time? Let me know in the comments. If you're looking for other Oculus Quest content, check out our other videos here and here. And also please help me by liking this video and sharing it if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for future Oculus Quest content on BMF, the unofficial home for all things Oculus Quest. Happy questing.